Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to move on now to the second drawing. Again, get a nice balance between the two studies. As before, quite happy just to put on a few construction lines. I always just ensure these are really delicate. You can only just see them. So that curve looks okay. Quite symmetrical at this point. Put those two up a bit. I'm just making sure it's quite balanced at the same point. And again, I'm still sticking to my 0 0.05 pen. Um, this gives me a nice delicate line, which I quite like, particularly at the beginning part of the drawing. It's perfect for this beginning part. Everything's delicate. But I know I can build on it as I go through. So I keep a nice balance between those two shapes. So I'm getting that equal to this side. Push that up a bit there. I'll just curve this around now with my wrist, nice and smooth. Just finishing at that top point. I'll bring it back again to here. Okay, and I'll just introduce a little bit of shading quite early on. It just defines that shape a little bit more. It doesn't need to be too dominant in the early part. Put a little cap on that part there. And balance that up on the other side. About the same width. And just bring that across. And again, I can just keep pausing just to pick up that information from my sketchbook. Just make sure I'm transferring it across okay. Again, quite like that construction line coming back in. Just lock my wrist at this point. I'll just make sure I keep it very straight. Same working horizontally again. Slight curve there. Quite like that little bit of detail. Pull that down a bit. And just about see the column starting to appear. I'll just suggest 
the side a little bit more, not too strong. The important part of this is when I'm drawing is I constantly try and change the strength of the line. So just increasing the pressure a little bit. Um, I can obviously accentuate this a little bit more when I go to a, a slightly thicker nib. But even at this early stage with a 0 0.05 pen, you'll notice my drawing, the line strength is changing. I like the very faint, fragile lines. Some of those are my construction lines, but even my planning lines will vary. And the more I vary it, the more I like it. Let's just repeat that on this side. that nice and straight make sure I measure that get that equal just bring these lines across just get a little bit of balance and between the two shapes a bit stronger. Starts to look okay. I do quite like that partial element to the drawing. As I say, I don't want it to be too robust or too strong. more faint lines in there just gives a little bit of clarity to this right hand side that's a bit better now Okay, just switch pens and bring in a little bit of the darker shading again, just to get a little bit of a balance between the two studies. Okay, I'm quite strong with this, quite vigorous. I like to increase the energy when I'm building the tone. Keep crossing over different directions, just building up the layers. And you'll notice how I just fade it away as I go down. Just make that arch a bit stronger. I've got to get this quite a bit darker and neater in this top section. I think we'll bring some of the shading Down here, start to pull the tones into this lower part. Again, lots of energy. Fade it down a bit. Uh, 
and I'm constantly changing the direction of my shading. This way it doesn't become too obvious and too predictable. So quite a bit of the ridges feeling there in the center. I don't think I sanded that bit as much. I think we'll bring some on this side as well, just to give a little bit of elegance to this column. 